Hey folks, welcome to the demo of automated tests, one of the key features of browser stack accessibility testing. Let's have a look at the agenda. I'll be talking about the status quo approach of embedding accessibility testing into your automation suite, what we bring to the table with automated tests, the process to get started, uh, followed by the product demo, what are the frameworks that we support as of today, and finally, we'll go over the different configurations and assertions that we support. Talking about the status quo approach of embedding accessibility testing into your functional test suite, the process is tedious and time consuming. There are typically two steps involved. The first one is the setup effort, where you need to insert a static analyzer at every key state of your test case by making a few port changes. Now, once the static analyzer scans your page for accessibility issues, you'll have to take the effort of deduplicating these issues because you might be running the scans on different states of the same web page, which will eventually lead to duplicate issues. And once this is done, uh, the additional effort required would be to generate accessibility reports, both for your test cases as well as for your overall build. Now, apart from the setup effort, there is also this maintenance effort where you'll have to keep on updating your test cases as well as your reporting as your web application keeps evolving with time. Hence, all in all, the process is very tedious and time consuming. Now, what we bring to the table is automated tests. It is a very effortless and seamless way to add accessibility testing to your test suite. It consists of two main components. The first one is the browser stack SDK. It's a very easy to integrate SDK that orchestrates accessibility testing within your test suite. Additionally, we have the accessibility dashboard. Uh, it's a central dashboard where all reports generated by different features of browser stack accessibility testing, including automated tests are available. The process to get started, uh, it's a very straightforward process. Uh, all you need to do is download and install the browser stack SDK. Uh, it's a few commands that you need to run in your CLI tool. And once the SDK is installed, a configuration file gets generated. And it's just a matter of enabling the accessibility flag to true in that config file. And that's it. That's all the hard work that is required. And then you can just keep on running your automation builds the way you do. And the SDK will do all the heavy lifting of embedding the accessibility scanner within your test cases and generate reports for you. Now, before I move forward with the product demo, I'll just show you the guide uh, for one of the supported framework that we have. And we are also going to use it uh, in the demo. So it has all the steps listed here that we just discussed. So in this case, installing the SDK, it's a simple npm install command. Once the SDK install is done, you just need to set accessibility to true in the generated browser stack.yml configuration file. And then you can keep on running your automation wheels the way you do. Now, for the demo, I'll head over to the code editor and I have already installed and the browser stack SDK. And if I scroll down, I have set the accessibility flag to true in this generated a configuration file browser stack dot yml. Now before I kick off the build, I would quickly show the test cases that will be running as part of this build. This file has two test cases written on the pstackdemo.com website. And an interesting point to note here would be that there are no code changes made in this file. There are no import statements uh, or any sort of code changes that we had to do to embed accessibility testing. The change that we did was just to install the SDK and set accessibility flag to true. Now I'll go ahead and start the build. Now, this is going to spin up uh, our remote browsers on the automate platform. So 
let me just head over to the automate dashboard and what you see here is that the test cases have started running and they are in a running state right now so looks like one of them has already passed and the second one is in the running state The status that we see here is the functional status of the test case and not the accessibility status. The accessibility status will be able to see on the accessibility dashboard. So let's just wait for this to finish. Okay, looks like both of the test cases have passed. So I'll head over to the accessibility dashboard. In the accessibility dashboard, we have the automated test section and we can see the build that you just ran over here. And I'll go ahead and open this build report. Now, in the overview section of the build report, we see the issue breakdown by severity. There is the trend of issues and their severity breakdown across the past builds. On further scrolling, uh, there is the accessibility health where both of our test cases have failed because there were accessibility issues found in both of them. There is the health history, issue breakdown by components, by category, and the pages. If I go to the test section, uh, we have similar reports for each of the test cases that were run as part of this build. And if you click on any one of the test cases, we can deep dive into uh, into the issues found in this test cases, and we have a similar view uh, in this in these reports as well. An interesting point to note here is that if I do a submission of the individual issues found in these test cases, so 80 plus 56 will give me 136 issues. But if you would have noticed in the overview section, we just reported 80 issues. Now, the reason for that is that if there were duplicate issues found across multiple test cases, we are deduplicating them and only giving you the unique list of issues which are available under the all issues section. Uh, in the all issues section, if I click on a particular issue and select an affected component, I can see all the issue details, including the affected WCAG success criteria and the how to fix guide and the source test section which allows me to trace back in which particular test case the accessibility issue was found. So this wraps up everything from the demo perspective. Now I'll head back to the presentation and I'll just talk about the supported frameworks. So we already um, support most of the popular frameworks such as TestNG, Cypress, WebDriver.io and Playwright. And we have uh, plans to further expand the number of frameworks that we support down the line. Talking about the different configuration options, we offered the, the ability to change the WCAG version being targeted, inclusion or exclusion of best practice and needs review issues, and also the ability to change the testing scope based on the tags. Finally, we also offer the ability to create accessibility-based assertions, uh, which run along with the functional assertions. So we offer two functions. Uh, one is the result summary, which returns the overall issue count and the breakdown by severity. And apart from that, there is also access to the array of issues that were found within a particular test case. So this wraps up the walkthrough of automated tests. I hope you get a chance to try it out and feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions. Thank you.